I define success if I have students who make a positive change from, from a negative aspect. Uh, for example, I have a lot of kids that are talented uh, and are, are great to work with. They're easy, easy money, I, I should say. And then I have those kids that just are totally, they need some success in their lives. And those are the ones that keep me going. Those are the ones I think about all the time. I guess they're the, the three to five percent of the kids that I think about 95 percent of the time. It's that kid that the one that he looks for the creativity and ways to encourage and, and ways to help them be successful. That he's really good at. It's encouraging to see kids that you know that is difficult for them to stand up there, give a presentation, give a speech, and be successful at what they do. And you know who they are and that is, and you know that deep down inside that, that's hard for them to do. He's never going to leave one student alone. He's always there to help somebody fix something, even if it's a small thing that they may not be too confident about. And he'll work with you until you know you got it right. When I first sat in his class, I was kind of scared and intimidated because he made us all turn in our phones and stuff. But then he started talking and started being goofy. And I realized this is going to be a fun class. And I was really really interested and I wanted to go to class. I've had the, the privilege to be able to go into his classroom and see the work that he's done. He's an amazing teacher. He makes those kids feel so comfortable. And you know speech is not the easiest thing to do, is to get up in front of people and, and talk, but he puts them at ease. He brings out that creativeness in the kid. He is a, a gentle giant. Um, he works behind the scenes. Uh, you don't really even know everything he's doing and the great things he's accomplishing um, until something happens and you're going, wow, how did that come about? And Mr. Pruitt was usually the instigator. Every, every student uh, can accomplish great things in his class. He gives them all a fair chance. He's a nice, nice guy, advocate for the students. If you know your students, you can tell if they're, if they're exactly the same at the end of the semester, then I didn't do my job. Uh, I think the most important thing that a teacher can do is to try to make each kid feel important through the things that you ask them every day when they come into the room and you remember things and you see them in the hall and you take interest in what they do. Uh, it's just so simple, but it really makes a difference. I'm on the soccer team and every single day, like, without even telling him, he'll know who we're playing, when we're playing, where we're playing at, and he'll just ask me if I'm ready and seeing that he has confidence in what I can do, it makes me not scared. You want to live up to the image that he sets of you. And it's just a culture that he creates that everybody respects everybody else and encouraging of everybody else in the classroom. And, and you see that in the kids. I've never heard them laugh, make fun uh, of, of each other. They're always, they, they listen attentively and they encourage, you encourage each other. He makes it about as warm and receptive in there as he can. And Carl's one of those guys in, in some of the hardest times we've had with loss of, of, you know, of people, Things that have gone on, tough times, tough, you know, which you, everybody goes through. You know, he's always been there. I mean, he, he is GP. He, he, he's everything that you would want and hope and think about GP and, and what it represents and what it stands for.